Hi guys, welcome to our hotel room for the night. Lovely. Shall I give you a tour? Yeah, give us a tour. Come on, okay, cribs. This is the front door. Yeah. So it's basically just. Let me go out. I mean, yeah, and right, here just, we go. Here we go. Hey, welcome to room 703. Come Thank on in. Thank you. Oh. Storage. We've got ironing board. board. I think that's a hairdryer up there. This is the sink area that we've managed to already make a bit of a mess. A mess of. It's quite interesting that you walk straight into the bathroom. <laughs> you walk straight into the bathroom. This is a separate WC and shower. Mm -hmm. So shower here, WC here. A nice spacious shower. So we're gonna do it how Leah will um have a shower. I'll be like showering while I sit on the loo. And Joel will be on the loo. And can you see the shape of me? I can see the shape of you, yeah. Can you see this? Oh, I can see that. Can you see me? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! Um, so then we go to the main domain. Boudoir. Oh, just here there is some, some storage and a fridge. Which... There's a fridge there. Uh, some more storage. See, we've managed to make a mess. Yeah, we've messed it up already. And then, Joel, if you show the really cool feature on the bed. Okay. It's all very propped up, but if you do that, it lays flat, so it saves space in the hotel room. So when you just wanna, you know, when you're not sleeping, you can lift it up. So actually small. in the morning as well, you can just sit up in bed like this. Upright. So nice, but the best thing about the room is the view. We've got a view of St. Paul's Cathedral, of the Shard. Wow. You can even see the London Eye. It's so, pretty cool. Um, it's the best part, I think. Which way is the London Eye, Joel? The London Eye is to your right. You can just see a tip of it there, behind that building over there. Mm, you're better at that than me. I don't have a clue, do I? Yeah. But this is our hotel room, as Leah said. We've already messed it up with all our stuff. We've been here two seconds. Yes. But that's just Joel and Leah. And now where are we off to? Now we're off to a jazz brunch. Ooh. So, yeah, we've been invited to a jazz brunch. There's going to be a jazz singer. Food, drinks, bottomless as well. Bottomless. So, Let's yeah, go. Wait. Let's go. <laughs> Lucy's party yesterday, so I'm a little bit hungover, very hungry, haven't eaten, and we've got one slice of toast, 12 quid. 12 quid? Luckily, there's that, but that's just, that's one piece of bread chopped up. <laughs> um, yeah, this is crazy. Wow. Crazy. crazy. No butter. <laughs> oh, God. It reminds me of this, um, there's a scene in um, my big fat Greek wedding where the dad is like dry, dry like toast. And that's what this whole thing reminds me of. Yeah. Blini's second round finally arrived. We finished our food. The thing with bottomless brunches is that they do a thing where they just don't come and bottomless you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do a thing, but they just, they don't. Don't. they just don't show up. So, if you know of anywhere in London that yeah. has legit bottomless brunch where they're quite generous with the, yeah. the bottle, then let us know because we just have our food without any bellinis. Can you believe? Can you believe? Yeah. As you can see, Joel, it doesn't look like the kind of place where you'd find a jazz bar downstairs. No, in fact, it's it not. Like this is what we're surrounded by. Drop off area. Okay, and it's next to a site office. <laughs> Of it. Like literally, we know that walking down there, we find that yeah. Bellini paradise. Amazing. It's lovely. Do you know what? Thoughts? Overall, it was lovely. The food was great. The entertainment was amazing. The singer yes. was great. But the food portions were very, very, very small. small, and the service was very slow. slow. <laughs> very small. Very small and, very and slow. slow. But apart from that, it was good. Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was good. good. We loved it, we'd do it again. Yeah, but I'd send someone there, I'd just say order Yeah, box. but we'd eat before we eat. Eat before you eat. We'd eat, eat before you eat. eat. So we're gonna have thing. to go get a snack now because yeah. we're hungry. No, well, we're I'm hungry, because I'm a greedy, horrible, fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you greedy, horrible, fat, greedy, horrible, fat bastard. <laughs> Come on, Good morning, London. Good morning, London. Morning, London. Woo! Right, what is the plan, Joel? Right, we've gotten out of bed in our hospital bed. <laughs> oh my god, it was so funny when you got us out of it. I just woke Leah up by like pressing the bed and it was like. Argh! 
<laughs> came up. Um, but we're ready for the gym now, so we're going to head down, see if breakfast is included, because we're cheapskate legends, and then go to the gym. I know, and then we'll work out legends yeah. after our hopefully free breakfast. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. we're ready. And the view in the morning, I mean, I think I oh, showed you guys stunning. yesterday, but got that London skyline going on. Yeah. Joel has suggested going to Heron Tower for breakfast if it's not included, which is hilarious because that's so expensive. Is it? Yeah. I love that. Very I'm like expensive. trying to skimp on like a free breakfast in the hotel and then I'm like, let's go duck and waffle. Yeah, it's so expensive. <laughs> right, um, gym ready and um, ready. got a tripod as well because we're taking some pictures here for this hotel for some content we're doing for them. And then that's it. This is the state of the gym we're in. Mm. Just showing people what we've got. Yeah, it's Joel's doing chest press. Chest press. I don't like this fish. This one's weird. It's, it's not very fun. futuristic. It is. Here we can see Leah enjoying some hip leg. raises, leg raises. Leg raises. I'm doing low intensity at the moment because um, my knees are hurting from the mountains. Yeah, so she's got poor knees, poor bless her. 28. 28 and her knees don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Get them fixed, guys. Yeah, well done. I'll well, come I'm down the business end. <laughs> what? Go fund my knees. Go fund Leah's knees. Poor Leah. Uh, it's okay. I'll do some press ups. The physio will help. Thank you. Right, here we are. Mm. Having our breakfast after we worked really hard at the gym. Really hard. We've got chicken sausage sandwiches. Chicken sausage sardine. Mm -hmm. What else have we got? Tea, pudding toast. Tea, pudding toast. We've got. Cocoa Pops, Pops, some yogurt, lovely. Mm. I did make Leah a tea, but it's too milky for her. I'm really, really sorry. Tea me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I double tea bagged though, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're just Googling our dreams because we both have very different dreams mm. last night. Um, right, yours was about paparazzi. Mine was about paparazzi, and I was shielding Leah from the paparazzi and swearing at them. Apparently, it means I'm spiritually blocked. Leah, on the other hand, I had it. It was a really tragic death. Joel died. I died and she didn't save me. I couldn't. I don't know. Now it's gone hazy. I wish I'd woken up immediately and written it down. Because now I'm like, I remember the blood. I remember you dying. I didn't obviously kill you. But I witnessed it. And you just stood there and watched. Oh, I should have taken the knife. <laughs> so we're just Googling just it. Googling Leah's it. dad says that it means that Either I'm going to get engaged soon or Leah's going to get engaged soon. <laughs> then it means there's a ring coming. <laughs> I swear dad last time I dreamt about death that he said money is coming. And now oh, an engagement is coming. Yeah, sack off the engagement. Not bothered. I prefer and the he, money. And I said, does it also mean money is coming? He went, nothing about money. Oh, damn it, Only dad. what you get as gifts. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Apparently, that's... if I've got a fear of losing you or that you leaving if I dream of your, someone you love dying. Oh, she does care about me a lot. Right. And I clearly care about her. I oh, shielded her from the paparazzi. It could mean I've also got concern for you. I'm concerned. She's concerned. Both of us had concerning concerned. dreams about Look the other, other one while we were concerned. sleeping next to each other. You were shielding me from paps and yeah. I knew you had a tragic death. Wow, we're so protective of each other. So protective. <laughs> right, Joel and Leah have just gotten showered. And, um, and yeah. we're just discussing how this room's a waste of space. Isn't not it? A wa like, how there is much wasted space in this room, not yeah. pieces of waste space. No. Not in like an insulting way, but we think that this whole vanity unit yeah. could have been better off over here, in there. which has obviously now become a floor drobe, yeah. which is no one's using. It's good you've got a, a wardrobe, you can hang things up in a fridge, a fridge but it's just there. tucked away in this like wasted space, it's really. Wasted. Yeah, I'm just sort of... As you can see, how messy we are. Yeah. And that, that's just never going to get used. It's a mini bar with nothing in it. Nothing in it, just empty. I did put my Diet Coke in there. Fridge space. But we're just hotel room designers now, basically. That could have gone over there, and then this could all be open plan. Yeah. Sorry. So, um, if we start a new job as hotel, hotel designers, designers, then you know why. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah we're, we're having meetings, guys, because, I mean, you guys will probably know by now. We're thinking of going to Canada. I think, oh yeah, 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 by now you'll know oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we just have a meeting today and mm. as well as filming some sit down and chat content, yeah. we're planning like the flights and the movements if we were to go to Canada. But we're the reason being is because it's on the green, green list. list. So we can go to Canada and Canada wants us there. The US yeah. still doesn't want us in the US. So 
Yeah. It's like, what are John and Leah to do? What are we to do? What are we, what are we to, to do? do? So Honestly, we're like, we'll just go to Canada then. Canadia. Canadia. Here we come. We think. Right, guys, we have just finished a live stream in which we have asked for advice about going to Canada. And if you haven't, if you don't know anything about it, surprise, we're going to Canada. This will probably be included in a Canada announcement video. Yeah. Anyway, um, we are going to book the tickets now. We've just come off the live stream. Some very kind viewers have made donations towards our trip. Um, so we're going to book the tickets, but we need to shift the dates. So initially we're thinking of going on the 11th of October, but we're actually going to try and shift the dates later in October so that maybe we do Canada for two weeks. Then we fly to Miami to do our work trip and then see where we go. But yeah, we don't know if we can go from Canada to the US, but we're gonna try it. Leah's just doing a poo, and then, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for Leah, and then we're gonna look at some bookings. Oh, flights and things, exciting, but scary. Here to she is. That Helena is not going to be able to make it to Canada. I'm just getting ready to book some flights right now. Lovely. So the snacks are in. Helena, what, what can you open my guacamole? Helena, Helena open guacamole. the guacamole, please. Lovely, right, she's gonna check. She is HR. She is very good Thank at you. finding good prices for good flights. I find you a good deal. And I'm good at getting her her snacks. Can, Helena, can you open my Yep, yeah, sure. Go Helena. Helena. There you go, Single. she's opened it. What, oh it does. Do we risk a single? What do we do? This is difficult. We need to discuss this off camera because the logistics wow. of this. Do we book a single because we want to try to get to the US? Or well, if we don't get into the US, then we have to buy another Let's single. Let's buy a return. I'm okay.